One other factor to consider while handling multiple devices is while the interrupt service routine for one device is under execution, suppose another device raises an interrupt, whether that request should be accepted or ignored. For example, suppose the processor had been computing something, in the midst there was an I.O. request for I.O. device 1. While the interrupt service routine for that device is under execution, suppose the I.O. device 2 raises an interrupt, whether this request should be accepted or ignored. One approach used is sequential interrupt processing with disabling the interrupts. Here, while an interrupt is being handled, further interrupts are disabled from other devices. Hence, interrupts from other devices will be ignored for the time being and will remain pending. After completing the current routine, the control is returned to the previous point. From there, the pending requests are handled in sequential order. Here, for example, while executing the main routine, the I.O. device 1 raised an interrupt and while its interrupt is being handled, device 2 and device 3 raised their interrupt. But those requests will be ignored for the time being. After completing the request for interrupt 1, control is returned to its previous point and from there interrupts 2 and interrupt 3 are handled in sequential order. So here the interrupt is not allowed to be interrupted again. The execution of an interrupt service routine once started always continue till completion before the processor accepts a request from a second device. This is a simple and easy implementation but here we are not giving any importance to the priorities of the requests. Hence, the other approach is based on assigning priorities to the requests which lead to a nested interrupt handling. Here the requests are assigned priorities and always a low priority request is allowed to be interrupted by a high priority request. For example, while handling the interrupt request for device 1, suppose we received a high priority request from IO device 2. In that case, the routine for device 1 will be suspended for the time being and the interrupt routine for device 2 will be executed. Since this is a high priority request, now this routine will be completed if there are no further interrupts from any other high priority devices, then the control goes back to the point of suspension within the interrupt routine for device 1. Now if there are no further interrupts from any high priority devices, this routine will be completed. And finally the control goes back to the point of suspension within the main program. Thus here a low priority request is allowed to be interrupted by a high priority request. If interrupt from device 2 were a low priority request then this request will remain pending only after completing the routine for device 1 then routine for device 2 will be executed. So here priorities of the processes are compared and a decision is made according to it. The interrupts are allowed to be interrupted based on their priorities. Whenever an interrupt service routine is processed, interrupts from the same and low priority levels are disabled and requests from high priority levels will be accepted.